So today I want to welcome Jody Franklin and Tammy Hickman into the Acupuncture Business Academy. We are delighted to learn from you about three different ways that we can create $10,000 packages in our practice and how you've been able to do that with functional medicine. So please welcome Jody. Welcome, Tammy. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you. We appreciate it. So I'm going to get right in, jump right in and say a few things. But I wanted to have Tammy on with us today, too, because Tammy is an integral part of my practice in terms of helping me with some of my client load, too. And she has her own practice as well. So it it works out really well. And just so you all know a little bit about her background, but she was in uh, she's a nurse practitioner and was in the field working as a nurse practitioner and wanted to do more functional medicine. She had her own health journey that, you know, really debilitating health issues that she was able to overcome and wanted to teach other people how to do that as well through functional medicine. And um, we'll talk about her journey a little more, but fast forward, she is now earning on an hourly rate five to seven times, five to seven times what she was earning on an hourly rate as a nurse practitioner. So I thought that was really exciting. And I am also a, I'm a functional medicine practitioner as well. I got into this field when I turned 50 and had a bit of a midlife crisis and said, what do I really want to do with my life now? And I went back to school and learned first nutrition and then functional medicine. And fast forward now, even within the first year of learning functional medicine, I had a full practice. And now I work remotely via Zoom. And I know Tammy has an in-person office and works for via Zoom, but I service and help people worldwide with functional medicine from my home office. So it's amazing. There's no overhead. I literally already had a computer. I already had a phone. I bought some business card and I was, I was in business. So it was just, it, it's just been the best thing I've ever done professionally. And so I, wanna, I am offering $10,000 packages now. And I want to explain how to do that. But go ahead, Lisa. Your okay, question. gosh, I, you got to the best part and then I interrupted you. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I, and I want to just kind of frame this a little bit and ask Tammy just a couple of questions. I know, Tammy, you're going to go more into detail, but so for us, obviously, acupuncture, what we do is one on one. It's in person. It's hands on. We love that. Like, we don't ever want to give that up. Most of us. Right. And so I'm I'm just curious if you, Jody, initially and you, Tammy, initially were doing one on one practices. That's my first question. So that you were seeing people hands on. And then the other piece is. Were you self-employed initially or were you employed by someone else? And then now are you self-employed or employed by someone else? That's And maybe you want to say, Lisa, be quiet. I will answer that as we go along or you can answer now. Hey, I'll let Tammy answer first. Yeah, I, I'm a nurse. 34 years I've been a nurse. I've been a nurse practitioner for eight. I've been in the functional medicine field as an RN and then also as an MP. That was my impetus. For getting my nurse practitioner at the time was scope of practice. I wanted to do more, be a part of more. The virtual world has just opened up and has been unbelievable. And I've done both even before all this COVID stuff, when it was not as common to do virtual appointments. But I still, part of the reason why I still keep my hands on practice is because I I do, I want to touch, I want to feel, I want to uh, talk face. To people, it's great. It's Zoom is a great tool. Telemedicine is a great tool for those who can't find anybody in their area. And there are a lot of people in the world that just don't have access, and so that's a wonderful tool. So I have a hybrid practice, and that serves me really well. I get to have patients and clients that maybe I wouldn't normally see with disease processes and other things that maybe I wouldn't see in my geographic area, and then I still see the people within my community that. I have, I live in a small Midwest community that they know me. I've been a part of this community all my life. Uh, my husband has, my kids have. And so they trust, they trust me. And when they're able to come in, I'm able to touch and listen and feel and, and be a part of that. So yeah, that's, I, I don't want to give that up either completely, not to that point, but yeah, you can mix it. So whatever you want to make it, that's the beauty of what we do as functional medicine providers, as herbalists, as Chinese medicine professionals. It's just the sky's the limit. 
And I, and I want to say she, Tammy was trying to work in the functional medicine space in practices, but I think the schooling that I went to that she wound up going to, I, I remember she, I wound up talking to her about the school years ago, but she wound up going there and we'll talk more about that. That's where you're going to get that free course. And we are going to be giving away a free course on long haul to you all from the school that we went to as a gift from our teacher, which is fabulous. It's all the supplements that we recommend and different professionals in this field recommend for it. But I do want to mention that Tammy wound up learning how to incorporate it really well, functional medicine, really well into her practice when she went to the school because the school, she had been to five, total of five functional medicine schools. She had been to four before that and had not been able to get her business to take off. But the fifth one was a charm because it teaches you not only the science and how to really use, how to do functional medicine, but how to use it in your practice on a daily basis. And that's where the rubber hits the road. And I have friends who have been to lots of functional medicine schools, different ones, but they can't get their business off the ground because they don't know how to use it effectively. And this school teaches you not just the science, but the know how to get it, how to learn, how to use it. And honestly, through word of mouth from the clients that I work with, that's how I built my business. People come to me worldwide because they know I can help handle things like Parkinson's disease and in just about any autoimmune disease, just about any condition, even mental health conditions like anxiety, depression, OCD, ADHD, tics, everything like that, to Lyme disease, to chronic pain, just headaches, migraines, everything. We learn how to go upstream and figure out how to get to the root causes of these diseases and then put them into remission. So I want to say like nurse practitioners generally earn the same, roughly the same hourly rate as acupuncturists. Imagine taking whatever you're earning per hour and multiply that by five or seven and look at the potential of what you could do with your time. And Tammy, tell them what you're doing now with your time because you're not working 40 hours a week anymore, but you're making yeah. more Absolutely. Yeah. So what are the, I think within six months about roughly of starting the program, my, I did, my business just started to take off. And um, when it did, I was able to step away from primary care because I had a little mixture of functional medicine and primary care that I was doing. Um, I was able to step away from that primary care and just pounding it out, working 80 to hundred hours a week which included my charting and an insurance model. It was, let's see a patient every 10 minutes. We, we know that model. And I didn't feel like I was serving anyone in any way in that primary care model. And so when I was able to step out of that because of the ability, I, I had the knowledge, a lot of the knowledge because I'd been to a lot of other programs. I, had, I dove in for my own health reasons. Um, my children's health reasons, my family um, that we worked with. But really, it was how do you systematically apply the knowledge that you have in a very targeted way? And that's where the rubber really met the road for me. And it's really interesting because when I started doing that very specifically, people just started telling other people and it just grew and grew. And like I said, I've been in the medical field for 34 years. I didn't want to spend 100 hours a week between charting and seeing patients and killing myself, not being able to serve my family. I have six children. I have eight grandchildren. And so now I only work three days a week. I have a couple of days that I can use that for admin days. I can use it for for my own professional growth, or I can use it for a day that I decide that it's time I want to take my granddaughter to the zoo, or I can do that. I can manipulate my schedule how I choose. I can decide to take a week off or not take a week off. I don't have to ask anyone for vacation. I don't have to worry about whether I have anything coming in that week because as a small business person, you typically don't unless you have, you've figured out other streams of income which is really awesome within this community as well, because there are other ways to do that. So yeah, it's a lot of flexibility for sure. That's awesome. And I, I just want to say for me, getting into this field, I, I actually had an autoimmune disease I suffered with for over 20 years and I was a hot mess. I had brain fog. 
I had cry, I had pain, joint pain, all these issues. And I'm happy to say now that I'm in full remission. I haven't had any breakouts in a while, but I was starting to get better through my own research. And I realized that I wanted to get in the functional medicine space, but I needed the credentials to get in there. So I went first to learn nutrition through a program. And then I went on to functional medicine. But as acupuncturist, you automatically qualify for this program that we went to. And it's called the School of Applied Functional Medicine. And I can get into a few details about it now if you want, but I want to talk about how we actually do these $10,000 packages and things like that. So Lisa, what would you like me to go through first? Oh, let's go through the $10,000 packages. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> well, I, get into say, it. I do want to say that getting the education was critical to my success in this field because now Honestly, I feel like I can help anyone with any condition, and it's just an amazing place to be. I know Tammy can do the same. And it gives you credibility, right? It gives it you does. credibility. I think it's married very well with acupuncture because, and then traditional Chinese medicine, I have a, a fellowship in herbal medicine that I've done. And I think it really marries well when you look at root cause, then you take care of the body. And then you also have the other tools within the herbal community that conventional medicine has no idea about and they're not willing to even think about. Wow, what a way to marry everything together. Absolutely fabulous. Yeah, absolutely. And you have the benefit of, you already have a patient population. So it's not like you have to start from scratch like I did. And the way I did it was through social media, just getting on my own Facebook and saying, hey, did you all know that this is what I'm doing now? And if any of you need help with chronic pain or weight loss or this, I listed a few things that I thought I might be able to help them with. And then one or two people responded that I could, I'd like to work with you. And that's how I built it to start there. And then they started telling friends about me because I was getting good results for them. And I built it all word, word of mouth. But you already have people on the table. <laughs> and so when you're in a session with a patient, you can literally say to them, okay, Mary, it looks like you've, you've had this chronic pain for a while. I know our sessions are helping. It's, you always get relief, but you're always coming back. And what I'd like to do is show you a way to get to the root causes and go upstream and figure out what's going on in your body that's causing this pain in the first place. And you may lose her as an acupuncture patient, but she will tell 50 people about you and they'll all be coming to you for functional medicine. And she'll probably still come because she, the acupuncture obviously has so many other benefits besides just pain reduction. But, but anyway, so you can work with her then and you could tell her, I'd like to meet with you. My rates are, my hourly rates a little higher for this, but here's what it's going to include. And then you can tell them what you're going to do for them, how you're going to go through and through a program with them, do their health history. You're going to evaluate their lab work and you can get lab work even if you're not, if it's not available in your state, there's resources in the school for that where I can as a nutrition professional, order, facilitating, get, getting lab work for my clients. So you're going to get all these. You're going to understand supplements from a whole different perspective. You're going to understand lab work. But you could say, I'm going to go through all these things with you and then um, take that information and put together a program for you. And maybe we'll order some additional lab work if we need it. But um, we're going to help you week by week to get better and to figure out what the root causes of your pain are or your autoimmune disease or your headaches or whatever it is that they're struggling with, allergies, asthma, anything. And so that's what we did. That's what you can do. And it's so easy to convert them. It's You already have patients you're meeting with. Even if you're looking to build your practice, this is a great way to do it and get people coming to you from all over. And now literally within my first semester at SAFM, uh, and that's the school that we went to, I was able to quit my job and start my practice. And we, I would quit my job. And by the end of the schooling there, I already had a full practice. It was crazy. So you're encouraged to start using it right away, even though it's a longer term program. It's like getting a master's degree. It's that kind of level of intensity. But as you're going through the program, you're encouraged to use it. So what I did was, honest to God, I charged very little in the beginning. I only charged, this was again, eight years ago, but I charged $60 a session. And that's what I felt comfortable with because I was still learning it. And then I mentioned it. People started coming to me and signing up with me. I worked with them and they got better. So the next two months later, I actually doubled my rates. Or, or, and then I kept doubling and going up and up. And now my packages include a $10,000 option. And 
I know Lisa and I have talked about this before, but when I talked to her about working with her husband, and she's very public about this because I usually don't talk about my clients to everyone, but we did a talk in their group about this. I told you about the $10,000 package and you guys dove right in. You're like, you can help me with this Parkinson's. Yes, I want to work with you. And the results have been amazing. He's becoming much more independent. He's shaking much less. He's uh, not falling as often. So many things in his life have improved because of that. And I know Lisa said she would have paid it all over again. So yeah, I, I think that you were the first person that I talked to that we knew that recovering from Parkinson's was a possibility. We knew that. And in Chinese medicine, there is that a track. <clears throat> but you were the first person that had confidently worked with other Parkinson's patients and been able to say, this is my track record. And I have no doubt that I can help you. I can't promise anything. You were clear about that, but I, I know I can help you. And it was like, where do I sign? The first time to have that piece of hope of someone who could really help us. And, and I've seen you do that with many other types of conditions. And I've referred other Parkinson's patients to you and they've come to me and said, thank you. So absolutely. We already have one of them off all his medications and he feels like he's in full remission now, which is just right. amazing. I'm just so excited to do that. I'll show you really quickly a few success stories just to get you a little bit excited about it. But honestly, it's all through the testimonials that I'm getting clients. You can see this man had psoriatic arthritis. You can see the psoriasis here on the right. This is six months later. He's in remission. He is off his prednisone. His pain is gone. And he lost 30 pounds in the process. <laughs> healthy. That's a side effect of getting healthy, right? Of losing unwanted weight. Here's another one. She lost 90 pounds in the process, but she was on Vicodin at every day for her pain and in bed by noon with debilitating migraines and fibromyalgia, chronic pain, extreme fatigue, GI issues, insomnia. We worked together for about a year and she, you can see she looks like a completely different person. All that inflammation came down and um, she said she lost the weight of this daughter, which is pretty amazing, 90 pounds. And I could go on and on. Here's a woman with extreme arthritis. She's a nurse and she actually wound up going to the school after I worked with her because she's, I want to be able to help patients do this too. And her husband reversed his type 2 diabetes, his gout. He had extreme gout pain. Hypertension is completely reversed. He has normal blood pressure now. But we could, I could go on and on. He has a case of urticaria. He has a case of acid reflux. He has ADHD in three months. You could check out some of these on my website if you're interested, jodyfranklin.com. This gal had anxiety. That's one of the easy ones to reverse. And can you imagine? I'm sure you all have patients that have chronic anxiety or depression. And usually within sometimes six weeks in the case of that girl, but some, usually within three months, we can reverse it. But anyway, I just wanted to tell, show you what's possible. And you can see if you post one of those success stories, you'll get so many people coming to you. And that's what happens. I'm almost afraid to put up a success story sometimes because I, so many people come and it's, oh, we, can we handle this many clients? So that's why for my practice, I actually hired some of the graduates of, of the same school, I wouldn't hire anyone who wasn't a graduate like Tammy and, and um, give her some of my client load. So we work together with the clients and she takes the sessions with them after the first, first one. So it works out really well. It's a win. Go ahead. So Jody, I'll, I'll, I just want to touch on the part where you said that when you first started out, you were charging $60. Mm -hmm. And because we're talking about $10,000 packages and it's, I want to make it clear, you didn't start with $10,000 <clears throat> packages, no, you, you worked all. your way up. And Tammy, did you too, were you also, did you have to get over the self-worth kind of thing? And is it scary every time you raise your prices sort of thing? Yeah. Like we all have that sort of. Like an imposter syndrome, right? right. That's what I call <laughs> yeah. it is the imposter syndrome. Yeah, absolutely. I think we all have to get over that. It doesn't matter how little or how much education you have going into it or how much you've done it. You always feel like you don't deserve to make that kind of money. And it's really a mindset of getting over that piece. And to what Jody said, if she still charged $60 an hour, she would have a wait list that's three years long or more. And she would be burnt out. Just we are in primary care unable to handle the load. And so she very strategically continued to raise her prices. And when you raise your prices like that, one of the things that you find, which there's a market for everything, right? You have a market for when I worked in the insurance model in functional medicine, what I saw very often was people that came in that time after time 
because they didn't have as much skin in the game, often would, I, we still had to have the same discussions of, okay, what's your diet look like? Are you drinking enough water? Are you getting, are you stopping the soda? Are you still smoking? Um, but by the time you start to raise your prices as much as that $10,000 package, you get people that are very involved, willing to do the work, willing to step into it because they pay the price. I think when I first started the journey in functional medicine, I couldn't have chosen to do that because I didn't have, it wasn't just the imposter syndrome, but I didn't feel like I had the basis and the knowledge to really pull somebody through effectively and efficiently. By the time I got through the schooling, I had attraction because I felt confident. I knew what I was doing. I had enough success stories at that point. And the same thing, as you start to move through that, you get more and more people who come to you. And that's a way of, of deciding, is somebody willing to do the work and, and do what they need to do to actually get better? And so it's not just about making the money. It's about how are we utilizing and helping people. There are a ton of people that say, I really just want to work with getting people at the ground level. And I can do that without these packages um, because they're not willing to pay those packages. And that's great. Everybody has to start somewhere, right? But as we move through, we can do that increasing those prices because we're focused and we're dedicated. And when somebody's focused and dedicated, we can get those results in six months versus three years. Absolutely. And I want to just say that for some people, I might slide my rates or I might have them go do 20 hours of community service and come back to me with a certificate and then give them a complimentary. But I never do it free because, or I shouldn't say never, but I pretty much don't because they don't value it to, to Tammy's point. They just don't. But, but I will say the other way to help people that may not be able to afford like the four to $10,000 packages that I offer, I, I do give them the option to do group programs with me. And that's the number two I wanted to mention that we do to get to that $10,000 packages because a group program can bring you to hundreds of thousands of dollar package. Right? One of the groups that we do that Tammy's also involved in with me is called Vanishing Vitiligo. That's the disease Michael Jackson had where your skin depigments. And there's a lot of people that have this disease and it's just devastating for so many people. And so I had someone come to me with it about seven, six or seven years ago. And I told her, just like I told you, Lisa, I'm not sure if I can help, but I have, I'm pretty sure I can and I'll do my best and we'll see what, can, what we can do. I like to under promise and over deliver. And we were able to get significant pigment back on her skin. And what I found out later is that Tammy actually had vitiligo and so did another partner of ours that is, in, that is doing the program. We're all doing this together. Um, she had vitiligo too. And Tammy and the other, my partner were in full remission also from vitiligo. So we put together this group program and we charge, I think $69.99, like it's a $7,000 program. And we've had about 55 people go through it. So do the math on that. We are dividing the money. It's not all profit. But what is that, a, a $385,000 that we brought in so far on this program? So, you know, in some of your group programs can be a lot less money. Sometimes it's not affordable. I'm, I'm actually putting together a group program now for something else, but you can do a group program where it's only $100 a month per person or something affordable and you get 100 people in. So now you're bringing in a whole lot of money because you're $10,000. But and, and you pick a, a topic from something that you've learned in functional medicine that you know you can help them with. That's an advanced game move, but I am moving more and more into group programs because I can help more people that way. And I can really leverage my time because with Vanishing Vitiligo now, I know we have meetings here and there, but I'm only doing one meeting a month and my partner's doing another meeting a month. And the money continues to come in with the program. So it's been incredible. And um, there's just so many things you can do to earn this kind of money, but you have to have the knowledge. Um, and so that brings me to number three way to do it is to get the knowledge and start talking about what you're doing to your patients, because that's what's going to bring you to those $10,000 packages and beyond. 
And even if you did half that, a $5,000 package or whatever, you're going to be bringing in a lot more money than you do as an acupuncturist. If you're thinking of getting out of the brick and mortar model and having more freedom and flexibility, you can do that. Or you can keep your brick and mortar model. It really depends on what you want to do. But I will tell you that this is the most gratifying thing I've ever done in my life by far. It's just amazing helping people on a whole different level getting to the root causes of their diseases. And you're going to have a skill set that very few people have, let alone acupuncturists have. Very few people in the world have it. And you will have people seeking you out from all over. So even if you're struggling in your acupuncture practice to get patients, this is a great way to bring people in. If you have a full practice and you're getting burned out from it, this is a great way to leverage your time and do what Tammy's doing. Do work three days a week instead of five. Work even and and I plan on retiring. I'm turning 60 next year. When I do retire, I will I'll never stop doing this. I love doing this work. I don't think I'll ever stop, but I'm going to be doing it two, maybe two mornings a week or two days a week and just continue to to do what I love because honestly, I would do this for free. I love it so much. It's so fun to do. But I I have to pinch myself sometimes because this has just been so amazing. And I have so many friends that are just crushing it in doing this work. And it's so fun to see everybody that is is doing the work and then continues to get better and really stand out in their field with it. So I'll, if you want, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Before you go, before you change tracks. So let's talk about a $10,000 package in your initial sort of example. You said, hey, Mary. I see that you. I want to go a little bit deeper with you. How would you like to look more closely at some of the other things going on inside your body and really get at the root cause of what's going on? And so how do you structure that $10,000? Like, when does that come into play? Are you saying we're going to do this over six months? Are we going to do this over a year? How are you managing their expectations and the time frame for how that $10,000 package is going to play out? So first thing I do is tell them I want to do a comprehensive case review. And I know Tammy has a similar structure where she, we generally all do this, where we literally map out, and you'll appreciate this because I know Chinese medicine is big on mapping too. I'll cross off his name, but here's a client I met with yesterday. And you can see I literally mapped out. Wait, wait, wait. wait, Map looks a little different. Wait, hang on. I want to make sure I get that in view here. Okay. (laughs) Is that crazy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he has vitiligo and chronic constipation. We literally spent a couple hours before I met with him and put together this map of going through his lab work, going through his everything that he's dealing with, all his health history and symptoms questionnaire. And you learn how to do this in the school. There's an entire class on mapping. There's everything on supplements and nutrients. There's a class on lab work, interpreting lab work, all in multiple classes, not just one. It's a series of classes on this kind of thing. But anyway, so you learn all that. I map them out. And so before I meet with them, I get their last two years of existing lab work that they already have from their doctor. So sometimes you can save them a whole lot of money because you already have this information. And then I get them to fill out the health history form and symptoms questionnaire. I map them out. I meet with them then for 90 minutes, just like I did with your husband. So we go through and I'll tell them what I'm seeing, what I think can be done, what additional follow-on lab work I think we should get. Sometimes we need it, sometimes we don't. Just depends what's going on. I know with Peter, we did quite a bit of follow-on lab work. Yeah. And then and then I send them follow-up notes with um, details of what... Some people send follow-up notes, some people don't. Some people are just like, take notes because you're not getting any follow-up notes. Mm-hmm. So it's, it depends what you want to do. I actually hire a scribe who takes the notes and, and gets them ready for us. And then we just hit send. We check them over and hit send. But, but anyway, so that's what we do. And that's the initial session. And I charge 800, it's $797 for that initial session. So I can do a couple of those a day, usually that or another appointment, maybe a day. You're not meeting with people boom, 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 run right after another when it comes to functional medicine. You do need some prep work. And then after that, they can choose a package. So I, they can pay monthly like $599 to $799 a month depending on how they do it, which program they choose. And it includes a certain number of follow-on visits. So I can show my prices. I don't have any problem showing that if you want to see. So this is these are the packages I offer now. And so it's $5.99 a month for nine months is my platinum package. So $4,802 plus the $7.97. So that's like about $5,700 uh, $5, package there. Or this one is just under $10,000. 
So it's $9,102 plus the $7.99. So those are the packages. And then I, I also am doing other group packages where the payments are as low as $3.99 a month for an urticaria package to, to reverse hives. So we do different things, but those are the ones that I'm offering. And it's not stopping people from working with me because if they really want to get better, they'll do it. And every once in a while, I'll slide my scale. If I really want to work with someone and I know there's hardship, I will do it. But so I, because I really want to work with them and I really want to help them and I know I can get them good results. But you can also be selective about who you want to work with eventually too, because so many people are coming to you. You can decide, I, I only want to work with people who have this disease or I only want to, you can specialize or you can generalize however you want to do it. I work with a lot of autoimmune skin diseases personally, but I will work. Sometimes people will come to you with one thing. And then you find out they have six other things that you know you can help them right. with. So they get a bonus of, I know one of my friends came to me with weight loss. She was a college buddy of mine. And I took her through and saw that she had severe asthma. She couldn't even go outside most of the year because her eyes would swell shut from her seasonal allergies and asthma. And that was one of the first things we did. Within a couple of months, her asthma was gone and she couldn't believe it. She was off all her medications. And she said, How, you know. It, it, she had no idea that we could do that. So it's just fun. But so, I did want to, I know I keep interrupting you, but here's, yeah, the please. Thing, here's the thing I really want to make clear for acupuncturists, because the tendency for acupuncturists when they sell packages, like when you hear the word package, it's a package of acupuncture treatments. Mm. And what that does is it ties us to time. It ties us to being in person with people. And what Jody and Tammy are showing us is that we can have packages that are separate from our one-on-one -on -one time with patients. And that's the key to scaling your income mm -hmm. is when you have these packages that are a separate, don't tie them together with treatments because that way you can do them virtually. If you ever, like in my situation, my history is I was forced away from my practice for a period of time. I would have loved to have had a virtual way to continue helping my patients and to continue making money when I could not physically be in my practice, in my clinic. So this is like, a it's a safety valve. It's a way to make income. It's a way to change your schedule so that it's more flexible. There's so many other pieces to this that I want to just make sure it's really clear. You can still sell your acupuncture packages if you want to give people the opportunity to, to come in and see you on a regular basis, because I think that's a great incentive. But don't connect them to these types of packages that are functional medicine, educational, herb-based kind of treatment evaluation type thing. So hopefully that's clear. Yeah, absolutely. So it's different. And, and I do include a certain number of visits in that package, but it's different. It's, so after the initial session, each session is about an hour. It does take time to go through everything. And then they start getting better. They you give them, we learn in the school how to get rapid relief in certain areas. So if they have acid reflux, that's an easy fix. If they have migraines, sometimes that's an easy fix. Certain things are even anxiety. Sometimes it's an easy fix. So I had someone with urticaria who came to me la uh, a few weeks ago and I just saw her update form three days, three weeks later, she's already having fewer hives <laughs> within three weeks. She said she went an entire day without having it after going years with every day having hives. She says they're already less and she's sleeping much better. She has more energy already and her mood's better. This is three weeks. So you give them rapid relief and then they're just like, oh my gosh, what else should I do? They get galvanized to, to make a lot of changes. So we do little changes at a time. And that's what really the school teaches you is not to do everything at once because functional medicine has a bit of a bad rap. And I brought my daughter to a functional practitioner before I got into this field and she gave her a list of 50 things to do. And my daughter looked at me, she was a teenager at the time, you can imagine, and just said, I'm not doing any of that. I was like, it was way too overwhelming. And so we do things in steps and we learn, you learn how to do all of that. And it just makes it a lot easier for people to follow. But I have to say, there are so many people in acupuncture that are getting into this field. There is a huge demand for this field. And it's a way to really distinguish yourself from other Chinese medicine practitioners that you are doing functional medicine as well. And so you'll, it just, it's a win slam dunk kind of thing where you really cannot lose. And I made enough money my first semester in the school to pay for the entire school, just bring clients on board and that, and you already have a captive audience, so it'll easily pay for itself. So I could show you the, the price of the school if you're all, if any of you are interested in that. And, and you're all going to get a, that free course as well to, tr to check it out as well. 
But would you like, does anybody have any questions before I go into that? No, but Doreen is commenting that, again, as acupuncturists, we're so limited in how much we can make because we're trading time for money. And so that's this whole idea of being able to have this virtual piece, this, sep this piece that's separate from hands-on, one-on-one time. Definitely. I do want to know why, and Tammy, you probably can answer this even better than Jody. Why is the School of Applied Functional Medicine a better choice than other functional medicine programs? Because there's a lot, of, a lot out there. There's a lot less expensive ones. There's shorter ones. Why, why do you think SAFM is the way to go? Yeah, that's a great question. In my experience, what I found is that some of the lesser expensive functional medicine schools are not, they're not bad and they're, they have great information, but they're geared to a certain population. One of them was really geared to the chiropractic and physical therapy kind of realm. And it still was a lot of hands-on, not necessarily, didn't necessarily put all the puzzle pieces together. I did another one. This was my stepwise journey. After I found out I was sick and no one could help me, I had chronic Lyme disease. And I was shunned by conventional medicine as a nurse. I was told that I needed to see a psychiatrist, that it was all in my head. I would go to the ER with muscle spasms so severe that I couldn't handle it. And they labeled me a drug seeker. I was like, I don't want your drugs. There's something wrong. Tell me what's wrong with me. And so my step was trying to figure out what was wrong with me. And in the midst of all that, I had two children that had autoimmune conditions and, and didn't know it and didn't understand it at the time. And so everything was that stepwise fashion for me to learn. And so I didn't know what I was looking for. I didn't know what I didn't know. I didn't have anybody to walk me through this. I didn't have anybody to give me suggestions. And so I don't say it was money wasted because it was all part of the experience. But over the course of my time, I've probably spent $70,000 on education, not including my MP, my BSN, or my associate in nursing. And so that's why I'm here is to, to, to divide some of that out. Some of the other functional medicine, some of the gold standard, what they call the gold standard nowadays, that a lot of physicians are looking at to hire people into their practice was great information, but it was all um, out here in this module and out here in that module. And there was no connectivity. There was nothing where I could take that information. I knew it in my head, but how do I apply it? How do I work through, like I spoke to earlier, that stepwise fashion when you first begin? How do you actually take the right history? I learned how to take a history in nursing. I learned how to take a very detailed history. But what was I looking for and how was I looking for it? And how was I going to put those puzzle pieces together? And then when I put those puzzle pieces together, how could I provide, like Jody was speaking to, that rapid relief to keep somebody coming back. We know in functional medicine, if somebody has Parkinson's like your husband, somebody has chronic Lyme disease like I do, how long that treatment can take. That could take years. It really to reverse toxicity, to reverse the immune dynamic, to get the immune system really where it needs to be. It can take two to three years at least. However, in that, that moment, in the beginning, to help somebody get some relief but at the same time, in their mind, what the money that they're putting out is well worth what they're doing, they have to see some results. But you have to feel, to be engaged in that, you have to feel like you're getting that rapid relief. And so that's another place where the school differs from anything else that I've done. I did my herbal medicine fellowship. Absolutely fabulous. A lot, I learned a lot of things about herbs. I learned a lot of things about um, physiology. However, again, it was just like conventional medicine. It was trade an herb for a pill. Let's do an herb instead of a pill. And that's what I wanted to get away from. I don't, we want to get true deep healing and maybe at some point come off a lot of that, those supplements and those herbs. And how do you use them to modulate the immune system? How do you use them to give the rapid relief, but then be able to step back from that? And that's where this school differs. SAFM is so much different than anything else that I've done in that 
in that way. And when you're looking at price point, you're looking at value. And I, like I said, I've probably spent $70,000 just on functional medicine training outside of my conventional training. And my, which one gave me the most value? Which one gave me what I needed to be able to really step in competently into this role in functional medicine? And it definitely was SAFM. Within six months of doing it, I was able to walk away from primary care. I was able to walk away from the other part-time and a functional medicine job that I had and be able to step into my own business, doing my own thing, helping people better than I've ever done before. And that's where I was like, wow, again, it's that rapid relief. Even when we look at our education, I got that rapid relief and I was all in at that point. It was like, oh my gosh, my world is transformed in six months. I still have a year of this school to go. So, so you, were, um, you were making, you were already practicing and making money before you even finished mm-hmm. your program, the program. Mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So oh, the, already and then, really a full practice before she started, before she graduated SAFM. <laughs> and, and I see people do want to see about a, SAFM, Jody. if you want to give us more detail about the tuition and how that works. And then I don't know if you see in the chat, there's a question from Nevin. Maybe you can answer that as yeah, we sure. are going through this. Thank you so much, Tammy, for that complete overview and for sharing your journey and investments not wasted. Yeah, that was a a really great way to put it. So thank you. Yeah. And to her point, true functional medicine is not trading out a supplement for a medication. It's better than taking the medication because medications can have so many side effects. We are not anti-medication at all, though. Obviously, they can be blessed relief for so many people, but we all know the long-term use of medications can be problematic. But this is why, like Tammy was saying, we go upstream to figure out the root causes and hopefully get them off the medications. Maybe there'll be a maintenance, the the supplements, and maybe there'll be a maintenance supplement or two at the end, but not have to take a million supplements. And But Nevin has a question about the licensing board examination requirements, and I can go through that for practicing functional medicine. Technically, you don't, there is no certificate, there is no um, license for it. But um, the school that we went to, you do have to be a medical professional or nutrition professional, and you have to have an active practice and be working with at least um, eight clients or patients. So I know for most of you, that's not an issue. Uh, But um, if if you're retired and wanting to get into this, you can still apply and they'll make, they'll probably interview you just to make sure you're qualified for the school. But I'm sure it won't be a problem for any acupuncturist to get into this school. And then you can start practicing while you're at the school. I know that's part of your question, Nevin, because you already are licensed in your field. And functional medicine is not like Western medicine at all in the sense that you're not prescribing anything. You're making recommendations and educating people. And it's not illegal in any state in the U.S. or most places abroad to educate people. So you're educating them on their health and showing them choices and educating them on their lab work of what's going on in their bodies. And so it's very different from Western medicine where you need to be licensed in order to practice. This, you do not need to be licensed, but you can start incorporating it into your Chinese medicine practice from day one and literally start helping your patients that are on the table and even just talking to them about, okay, you know what I learned in this gut class? And I know you were saying you're, you have this thing, this acid reflux, let me give you some tips while you're here. And then maybe we can meet and do a complete assessment of your health if you'd like to do that. So you can give them a little freebie and then get them hooked, that kind of thing. But but I hope that answers your question and give them that rapid relief. Even for something like Parkinson's, that rapid relief might be getting them to sleep at night and relieving their constipation. That can happen immediately. And they already start to feel better the next visit. And say, okay, now what do I do? So you do things in order. You sometimes low-hanging fruit first, and then you work on the harder stuff. But anyway, so let me show you the school. And I put the link in the chat there. And I know, Lisa, if there's any replay going out, I know you'll put the link as well. But this is it. It's the School of Applied Functional Medicine. I went right to the Programs tab just to show you. But you get over 200 hours of clinical education. 150 hours of complex case practice. So it does take two and a half to three years to go through the program. Some people do it in two years, but remember, you're going to start using it right the first week. You can start using this in your practice from what you're learning and help people on a whole different level. So don't worry about the the duration. 
And the payments are as low as five sixty three a month. So if you get one client, it'll pay for the whole thing. One client, or maybe in the beginning, two clients might pay for the whole thing. But there's a nice video here if you all want to check it out on the programs page. You can get a packet about it. You can talk to a graduate if you want to book a call here. But I want to show you the curriculum. You can see that you're going to get all these basic courses. This is the semester one. So there's semester one, there's semester two, there's an inter-semester of clinical skills, which I'll explain in a minute. And then you just take the exam at the end of level one, level two, and at the end, you take a level three exam. And then you get the certification. By the way, you get put in the directory of graduates. And I've gotten so many clients from the directory because people go on there looking for a practitioner in their area, it comes up in Google searches. So that's that alone is worth getting the certification. That alone will pay for the price of the school. But anyway, the, le the level one, you're going to get disease, intro to disease. You're going to get intro to mapping. We talked about the mapping, puzzle piecing cases. Now, these are my favorite. This is where Tracy actually recorded sessions with her clients and you get to listen to them. So you listen to that initial session and then she does a two hour webinar on how she helped that client get better. The steps she took, what lab she saw, what she saw, what she did, what supplements she recommended, everything. And I remember listening to this for the first time and my jaw dropped and I said, oh my gosh, I'm doing everything wrong. <laughs> and I started changing it around a bit to be more like her, like how she analyzes and maps out and figures things out. Um, you get nutrition and supplements. She names, she names dosages, she names brand names. Not all supplements are good. There's a lot of really bad ones out there. So she tells you what works best for which conditions and why and what you should, gives you lots of examples um, and contraindications, et cetera. You're going to learn all about lab work. By the way, you learn all about nutrition, of course. That's a huge part of functional medicine. But the lab work we talked about, and there's a mind-body class, which is fabulous too. And then you get these deep dive courses. So you're going to learn all about disease beginning in the gut because so much disease begins in the gut. You really need to master that. So that's included. The HPA TG access, you're going to learn all about adrenal thyroid balance and dysfunction. So the hormonal balance. And then you also learn how to reverse metabolic dysfunction. I love this because I've helped so many people reverse type 2 diabetes in an average of three months, like reversal. So I could show you more examples on my website if you want to see them or then you want to check that out. But three months reversal off their medications, everything. Anyway, you're, then you're going to get all kinds of handouts and things like that. But this is what really distinguishes the school here. Another thing that really distinguishes the school is these open coaching calls. And I know this is Tammy's favorite. We, one of your classmates will actually present a case that they're working on. And there's one going on right now. Tammy and I are going to have to listen to the replay. But they literally go through everything that they're finding with this particular patient. And then Tracy will go on and say, OK, what do you all see here? What connections do you see? What do you think should be done? And then Tracy, the, the, she's the founder and lead educator, she'll go through and explain what she would do to help that client, the steps that she would take, what she sees in it. And she's absolutely brilliant. And this woman is a She's a scientist. She's a chemist by background. She has three degrees from MIT. And she teaches it in a way that makes it really interesting and easy to bring to your practice right away. It's not, if I can do it, you all can do it. You have much more of a, 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 a biochemistry background than I ever had. So you'll be able to handle it. But anyway, and then the second semester, there's level two for all those courses that we did in level one. But then you get three additional deep dive courses, the immune function, loss of tolerance, hypervigilance. This is how you learn how to reverse asthma, allergies, autoimmune diseases, things like that. You're going to learn mitochondrial function and cellular metabolism. This was like unbelievable course of explaining how cellular metabolism works, even for weight loss and things like that. It's amazing. And then toxicity, detoxification, and heavy metals. This is a big part of my journey. I actually had crazy high levels of toxic metals that were part of how I got better getting those out of my system. And then you get the more puzzle piecing cases and more open coaching calls. So you take the exam after level one, exam after level two, but between that is the clinical skills inter-semester. And this is really awesome. It's just so much information about how to work within a managed care model and do this work or how to do it on an entrepreneurial level like Tammy and I do. So it teaches you how to do that. And they also include group programs, how to structure them, how to do that kind of work as well. 
So really great information there. And then you could take your level three exam and you're certified. But again, you don't have to wait to certify to start doing the work. You do it after day one. Like I said, uh, I had to quit my job within the first five months of <laughs> going through the program because I thought I would just ease into it part time. My youngest was off to college, was going gonna, about to go off to college. And I was like, OK, maybe I'll start doing this tiptoe into it and be careful what you wish for. It was just crazy. Oh, and I just want to show you, I'll show you the pricing on it, if anyone's interested, but you can scroll down here a little. So it's only $12,297. And honestly, I think she could charge 10 times as much for what you're getting in this. It is, it's akin to a master's level and you will really be sought out in your field from it. And again, payment options, you can click on this button and you can do 24 payments of 563 if you want, or choose your payment, however many payments you want to do. But, but anyway, like I said, I can't recommend it highly enough. I know Tammy feels the same. They offer retreats where you get to know people. There's, I didn't even mention there's these small groups that are called tribe masterminds. So you meet with your mastermind group once or twice a month. So it doesn't feel like a big school. It feels like you get to know the people in your mastermind is led by one of the graduates in the school. So that's really great. There's tons of handouts you can put your own logo on and have um, patient handouts. Uh, just so many resources and links and things that you just, you can't go wrong with it. And I, I forgot to mention that like the best thing or one of the best things about it, and I want to show you is that I'll log in just to show you my, my while you're, uh, dashboard while you're here, doing but, that, Jody, while you're doing that, I just want to say that one of the prerequisites to enrolling in SAFM is you have to have, have taken or seen like one of the courses as an example. And that's why like the bonus that we're offering is so important because it gives you an idea of kind of the way that the way the teaching is, but it also gets you on their email list because you opt in for it. And it shows then that you have watched one of their trainings. So th there's a dual purpose in that. But also I'm I watched this bonus training on targeted functional medicine supplements for long haul. And I know as acupuncturists, we see a lot of people who have no idea they even have long haul. It isn't until you start getting history and that kind of stuff. And I love the functional medicine approach because it's similar to ours. Everybody's different. These types of symptoms are so different with everybody and you have to have an individualized approach. And so it, it just was a great overview. And so it, it serves many different purposes. So I encourage you, I put the link in the chat and everybody who's registered will get that link so that they can go ahead and take a look yeah, at it. She has some guest speakers on that. No, that's not part of the school, but it's just a bonus class that she put together. But you'll get to see her brilliance at the end of that, which is just amazing. So yes, you want to have some familiarity with SAFM and the teacher. So definitely register for that course. It is phenomenal. And I'll just show you one of the things that I really, really love about the schools. When so let's say, let's say that Lisa's husband was my first Parkinson's client and I wanted to know more about Parkinson's. This search bar here is for students. And I would part I would I could type in Parkinson's here and hit go. And then you could see these posts about Parkinson's and things about uh, boosting serotonin, SAMI, and 5 HTP. This thing is a whole write-up on Parkinson's and what what students have asked previously and what to do with somebody who has Parkinson's disease. So these are just amazing. I literally use this all the time. And you have this and there's also a Facebook page just for students so you can search things in there too. It is just a wealth of knowledge. And so you don't need to know how to do everything right away and go through all the classes to help somebody. You can look up acid reflux and help your patient who has acid reflux right away. It's just, it's amazing. It's just an amazing resource and I use it all the time. So you just get, it's so responsive and so well thought out. And she's been, the school's been around, I think a dozen, at least a dozen years. And she just keeps making it better and better every year and, and adding more and more resources. And, and she takes student feedback really seriously. So you'll be joining at a time when it's never been better. It really hasn't. And like I said, I think she should charge more for it. I can't believe it's only 13, 12. 12,000 for this, for the whole program. Like I said, it's akin to a master's and you'll get that certification. And even if you don't have it <laughs> and while you're going through the program, it'll be able to help people. And uh, will you remind us again, Jody, maybe you already said this, but how much time does it take? How many classes are live? Is it all virtual? Like you can take it whenever you want or are there live things that you have to attend? And 
it, what's the shortest amount of time I could get through it? And what's the longest amount of time I have to get through it? Great question. So you can take your time. You can self-pace it. I would apply soon, like this week, because sometimes people wait and it's already, they've already filled it up, but you can apply and you can finish it if you really worked it full time, like within two years for sure. But most people finish in two and a half years and they allow you to self-pace it so you can wait, you can finish in five years. So let's say if you're really busy, that's okay. Sign up now. And you can start then. It, and a lot of the classes are live, like there's one going on right now, but they're all recorded. And sometimes I even like to participate in the recording because I can pause it and go back 30 seconds, which you can't do in a live class if I'm taking notes and things like that. So everything's always recorded. There's written transcripts for every class, which is great for those of you who like to prefer to read. You can print out the transcripts and have your textbooks. Um there, there are slides for every class. There's links, really curated links for every class. She will go through hundreds of studies and dozens of books before she teaches a class. And she will put the best reference links within each class. So you have really curated, targeted links to share with your patients or to read up if you want to deep dive a little more. That's just so much. So you can, you could participate and just say, okay, I'm going to get up Saturday mornings. Every Saturday morning, I'm going to get up two hours and work two and a half hours and just put that in your calendar and you'll finish. I recommend two or three study blocks a week. If you can handle that, you'll finish within two and a half years if you can do two or three study blocks a week. Anyway, she recommends, she allows enough time to listen to each class twice. And some of you may not need that where you're, you may have a certain level of education that you don't need to. I had to listen to each class twice because for me, it, it's just like I, it was a lot more learning. But, but if you're really steeped in biochemistry and things like that, you may not need to listen to each class twice. So you maybe go through it quickly. And there are people that finish within two years for sure. But you do have up to five years, so you can take your time. It's just really fits well into your schedule. But anyway, Tammy, did you have anything you want to add on that? No, I think you have the opportunity for live classes like the, the Tribe Masterminds, which are where you meet. And I always suggest to do that. As a matter of fact, I didn't do it in the beginning. And Jody, she told me, she's, you really need to do this. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I have time. And she's like, no, you really need to do this. And I did. And I don't regret it one bit. As a matter of fact, in those Tribe Masterminds, what I do is I found not only did we discuss what we were learning, we also discussed business. We also discussed what everybody else was doing. We were able to make connections. And as a matter of fact, my tribe mastermind leader is now in the group program with Jody and I and uh, a couple other people that work with the vitiligo patients. So we were able to make a community where we all live in different places in the country to be able to do this which was really awesome. The calls are live for the for those case studies those open coaching calls, but they're recorded. So if you can't make them like in the middle of the day, sometimes I can't make it. I have a patient or I have a client, so I can't make it. Or I'm on a call like this. I'll go back and listen to the webinar, which is always available afterwards, which is awesome. So then there's a lot of flexibility in it. And the team at SAFM seems to really have figured out how to provide the different needs for different people in different situations, which is another difference from several other programs that I've done. So that flexibility really helped me as a busy mom, a busy grandma, a busy practitioner, and then a business person trying to make that work too. But yeah, you have that opportunity for it. You, do, you can do what works best for you. Yeah. And I, let me just say that time is marching on regardless of whether you decide to do this now or later. You can be at the same thing three years from now. You can just be doing what you're doing. Or if you take the step to do this, you're going to have so much more freedom and flexibility and time's marching on regardless. So if you, whether you start doing this or not, you're just, you're still going to be somewhere in three years. So I know it seems like a um, two and a half a year program is a long time, but you will not regret it. I have told so many people about this school. I cannot believe how amazing it is. And it's so gratifying to be able to help people overcome, like people that are just chronically ill, just overcome it. And I have so many people coming to me saying, thank you for telling me about this. And, and I wish I'd done it 10 years ago. I didn't realize how good this was, how just amazing it is. 
And I remember I was in the grocery store the other day and this woman came up to me and said, you've got to give me a big stack of your business cards. I'm like, and you are. You know? and she <laughs> said, you worked with my daughter. And she said to me, she used to always say to me growing up, mommy, am I always going to feel this way? She had crazy riddled with anxiety. She was as, in, as a 21 year old and she was just so riddled with anxiety and depression. She couldn't function. And I worked with her for maybe six months, completely changed things around. She is no longer has any anxiety or depression. She's having a regular period, which is huge. And, and I didn't even realize sometimes you just, you know, that they leave you and you, they go on with their life and you don't see them again, or maybe you'll see them once a year if, if they want to come back. But it's just so amazing to have people come to you like that. And sometimes I have to pinch myself and say, am I really doing this kind of work? Because this is what I've always dreamed of doing is helping people like this. And I wish I'd met someone like me when I was 25 and so sick and so brain fogged that I couldn't even function. I was in, I, I couldn't walk some days because my feet were so swollen from urticaria and angioedema. I couldn't focus on anything. It was rough. And now I'm like, I think more clearly now as I approach 60 than I did in my 20s. I have more energy, more clarity, much less pain. I'm like, no pain really. And just, you know, I look around at other friends of mine who are my age and they're suffering with so many health issues that, and of course some come to me with them, but, but I don't have any. And it's great not to be reliant on medications or anything. And, and a lot of people come to me on 12 medications. By the time we're done working together, they're down to one or zero. And that's just amazing because all those medications are causing issues too. But anyway, I want to thank you so much, Lisa. This has been amazing. I hope we get a lot of people signed up. I ran into a few of them that signed up for your group at the retreat. So don't be left behind because they're the <laughs> ones who are going to be accelerating and crushing it in their field. We'd love to see a lot of people from this group in the school. And if I see you at a retreat, definitely come up and say hi. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that person. acupuncture is just a perfect match. And so we're getting ready to wrap up here. If you have any questions in the next minute or two, go ahead and put them in the chat. But I want to thank Tammy for taking time. I know you're super busy. So thank you for coming here and giving us your perspective. It's really helpful to hear what you've been through. So thank you so thank much. You, and Jody, yeah. Paula, I, I just want to say one thing before, because Paula said she's also doing health coaching and health coaching is great. And that's what my background was as well when I did that nutrition health coaching program. But I will tell you, that's when I was charging $60 a session. And once I learned the functional medicine piece is when my career really took off because it's, there's only, health coaching can only do so much. It covers very basic things, get more exercise, get more sleep, eat more vegetables, which is important. But to overcome autoimmune diseases, I need to be able to read an organic acid test and a stool test for the most part. Like I need to know what's going on and all the toxicity tests and things like that. I have, to, I have to know what's really going on to get to all the root causes. But anyway, sorry, Lisa. <laughs> what a great yeah. way to marry it together. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's important to have that perspective. And so I really want acupuncturists to grasp the idea that we can separate our one-on-one -on -one stuff from this kind of information that we get from functional medicine. And then I also, having had the pleasure of meeting virtually Tracy Harrison a few times, the founder of the, the uh, School of Applied Functional Medicine and chief instructor there, what I've learned about her is that her, in, in the same way that we feel like everything is so worth it when one patient gets off the table and isn't in pain anymore, her joy comes from practitioners being able to have successful businesses doing applied functional medicine. And so I love that the business piece is included and patient management and all that stuff is included and prioritized within this program. And that's what I've learned from talking to Jody and learning from you, Tammy, and learning from Tracy. So that's why I am out front promoting the School of Applied Functional Medicine. And I can do it so well because I believe in what you guys are doing and what acupuncturists can do how they can benefit from it. Again, thank you all for being here. Everyone, make sure you watch the bonus. And Tammy and Jody, thank you again for being here. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in other trainings. Lisa, thank, thank you, you Lisa. so much. You are such a blessing to these acupuncturists uh, that you run this group. And I know all the labor of love that you put into this group. And I know everybody appreciates you and loves you so much. And I'm just such an honor to be here with you and, and to get a chance to say hello to your group. And 
share our success with them. And hopefully, I hope everybody gets equal success and decides to do this program. So thank you so much, Lisa. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.